Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been thinking lately about this Chris Rock and Will Smith situation. And my question is, do you guys really think that Jada Pickett Smith really loves Will Smith? The reason why I asked that question is because, I don't know, but if I was married and if that was me in that position, I think I would have tried to like stop Will from going on that stage or like seem disappointed because there's like videos going around of Jada and it seems like she's actually like laughing and proud that Will smacked Chris, you know, in the face and everything like that. And I don't know, like, I feel like if you really love your partner, you wouldn't allow them to do something so stupid, you know? And I know in my previous video, I was like laughing about it and everything like that. <laughs> I am a little childish. <laughs> but that shit was funny though. You know, and like, in my defense, like, I didn't know if it was real or not, but it is real and I don't know, I just wanted to look deeper into the situation. You know, like, where is Will's anger coming from? Is it Jada or is it from his childhood? Like, we don't know. But if y'all didn't know about me, um, I am a tarot card reader. And I actually did a tarot reading on Will and Jada. And I have to say, the love is gone. I feel like they have more of a business relationship than an actual love relationship when I did the reading. I feel like the love is just gone, you know? I just feel like they don't have love for each other anymore. I just think that they're in it just for like the business aspect of the relationship. And see, this is why I say marriage is bullshit. Well, I say relationship is bullshit, you know? And like... That's another scary thing about being in a relationship is that your partner represents you. So whatever your partner does, it reflects on you too. You know, like that was really immature of Will to go up there and slap um, Chris Vogg. And Jada is probably also immature as well for like encouraging it in a way, you know, but like... Now I'm thinking, like, she probably didn't know what he was going to do. But still, like, I would have probably tried to stop him and be like, Will, like, don't do nothing stupid when you walk up on that stage. You know, because she, her and Will been together for so long, they obviously know who they are. But I've always said this, you never really know a person. I don't care how long you've been with them, you just never know. But I don't know, I just feel like Will and Jada, they should just get a divorce at this point. Like, yeah, I understand y'all have a lot of business tied to each other's name and it must be cheaper to keep Will and Will must think the same thing about you is cheaper to keep Jada. But like, y'all not really happy together. I mean, y'all have a beautiful family and everything like that. But like, I just don't get the point of staying married. I mean, staying married, but I don't know. I also feel bad for Chris Vogt too. Like, I feel like Chris Vogt, like, I don't know. He almost like looked like a child, you know, like he almost looked lost a bit. Like, I don't know. Like Chris Vogt, I don't know. He seems like he's been getting bullied, like, all his life, especially during his childhood years or teen years, you know, he probably wasn't like the the cool kid. And I think he probably felt that trauma come back to him during that night in the Oscar. You know, he probably felt like that child back in high school or middle school, whatever. Um, just thinking like, he could just get ran over and everything like that by bullies and stuff. I don't know. It's just sad. 
it's just a really sad situation. Like, Will is messing up his career, you know, and um, it just seems like people can't really take a joke now. And now I don't want to hear none of y'all asses complain about anything the trans community has to say about Dave Chappelle. Because this whole thing just shows how people are so fake. You know, y'all like pick and choose um, which situation to get upset about, you know, or defend. When the trans community was telling Dave Chappelle like not to make trans jokes because trans women are getting killed out here and everything like that. By the way, today is International Visibility Trans Day. So, shout out to all the trans people that's watching me. I love y'all. Well, not all of y'all. I love some of y'all because some of y'all be shady too. But, yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> but, yeah, back to what I was saying is that, like, the trans community, like, we communicated how... Dave Chappelle's comedy was harming our community and people took it as a joke, especially when um, they were trying to like cancel him or get his um, comedy special taken down. People just didn't take it seriously because we're trans people and now the tables have turned and this has happened to a cisgender woman, a cisgender black woman you know, now all of a sudden everyone is like <gasps> up in arms, you know, defending Will Smith's action. You know, by the way, no trans person ever slapped Dave Chappelle in the face. But if one decides to, my hand is ready. Yeah. But anywho, let me know how you feel about Will and Jada's relationship. Do y'all think they're really in love? You know, do y'all feel bad for um, Chris Rock now? After, like, seeing the aftermath of the whole thing? How do y'all feel about this situation? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another one. <laughs>